Go ahead. All right, today we're gonna to talk about the infamous communication error that you could possibly get on CodeSoft or LabelView or some sort of tackling software. So let's assume that I've been uh, printing using my printer in this software for a while, but I go to the print option and right here under status, it tells me communication error. The majority of the time, this has to do with our IP addresses if we're connected via ethernet cable. Um, so right here, you can see my printer and I'm currently using a Zebra ZE500 four inch right hand 300 DPI printer. To the right of it, you have the IP address that is assigned to my printer, which is 192.168.10 and then 96. Ignore the 9100 for right now. It is correct, but we'll just ignore that. I just wanna focus on the IP address. First step would be check on the physical printer that the IP address is indeed 192.168.10.96. Let's assume in this case it is. Um, the next thing I have to do is check to make sure that I do have an ethernet cable plugged in from the PC to the printer, which I already did check and I do. So the last option is gonna be checking the IP address that's assigned to my computer. If I go down to the Windows search bar and type in settings, I could pull up my settings app. From there, I'm gonna go to network and internet and I'm gonna find my ethernet option. Again, this is assuming that we are connected via ethernet. Once I pull this up, I have an option for change adapter options. I click on that and I see that I've got a red X. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the ethernet option, go to properties, and I'm gonna find my internet protocol version four or TCP IP version four. Once I've got it highlighted, I click on properties. And here I've got two options. One is obtaining an IP address automatically. This means that if I'm hooked up to a network, it'll auto populate an IP address for me when I'm hooked up via ethernet. The other option is use the following IP address. And so here I can assign my computer a static IP address. Right now I have it set up as 192.168.10.96. And if I pull up CodeSoft again, I see that's the IP address assigned to my printer as well, which is a problem. Whenever we're looking at IP addresses, the last section has to be different. So here I could change all the numbers if I wanted to, delete it, Add in 192.168.10.96. For this specific occasion, I want to keep this, this, and this the same, but I do need this number to be at least one off of what is assigned to my Zebra printer. So now I'm going to put in 192.168.10.97. I'm going to click OK, close, and pull up CodeSoft. Exit out of here. Go to print. And now it says out of paper. That's because my printer is out of paper, but I am now connected and communicating via IP address.